Lindsay here with Key Neat Creations. Today's video is on making an image mask using a custom shape instead of the shapes that come in the shape library. The reason you might do this is because you have a weird shape that you want to use, such as the uh, lenses in these glasses. There's no shape that matches this in the shape library, so I needed to create my own. Specific uh, tutorial on creating your own shapes is a separate video. So I want to show you, this is what the image looked like when I put it in, but I wanted the pictures to be in the lenses. So quickly I am going to trace out the lens with my custom shape. shape. I'm going to copy, paste, and flip it because I have two lenses. And they're not 100% perfect, uh, you can see, but if I was doing this for some sort of real project, I would take time and, and tweak it and make sure it was just right. But for this video, this is good enough. So I have these two photos. Let me drag those in here. And so I want to create a clipping mask or an image mask with this lens and this photo. So I'm going to click the photo, I'm going to hold down command and highlight also the shape. Go to format, image, mask with selection. And then you drag it to where, let's see. And you can make it bigger, smaller. I'm going to bring it like this. And when it's just the way you want it, hit done and voila. And let me just do the other, other side so that it looks finished. Select the photo, select at the same time the shape. And another way to do it is simply to click this icon right here. Drag the photo. Okay, I just realized this girl does not look like she's having that great of a time. So I think I'm just going to zoom in on these faces. Sorry, girl. There we go. Where I have it, uh, when I have it where I want it, I just simply hit done. And that is the end. That is clipping masks with, or image masks with custom shapes. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.